Walking Blind is hosted by overly emotional dudes who overthink and overanalyze everything. Nothing the hosts say should be taken as medical advice or opinion. They're not professionals, and they're about to make that very clear. So just kick back and hang with them, because you've earned it. everybody and welcome back to another episode of the walking blind podcast this is episode what 46 46 46 and this is the uh this is the recap this is the this is the welcome home show and uh it feels like we've been out of here for a really long time i know it feels like we haven't been here even though it, it really hasn't been that long <clears throat> but once again uh this is the show where we normalize checking in on the homies i'm mike that is also mike and we have a special guest uh all the way back so the very beginning of this podcast, was Martin was on the show as a guest. He's been around since then. Literally day one. <laughs> but uh, he usually he's just sitting in the sidelines or sitting off in the back. But he's on the show today. So everybody welcome. Golf clap for Mr. Martin Alcedo. Martin, <laughs> Martin time Alcedo. It's good. Martin it's good. <laughs> good. Dude, so, um, so we are, uh, the energy is kind of low because we're tired. We're so tired. <laughs> we've been playing catch up all week. We've been playing catch up all week, but um, but we're back. We're back home, baby, and uh, my voice is still kind of shot. Mm -hmm. um, Mine too. Mine's not. Yeah. No, you sang today. <laughs> yeah, you sang today. Yeah. Um, but we're 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 back. We're back. And we're back. So the the thing about this episode is that we're just going to talk about all the cool shit that Jesse missed out on. Like this is basically this episode is us uh, sitting here. Oh shit! Sorry, I was supposed to be nicer to you. This no, episode, fuck, fuck <laughs> <laughs> this episode is us explaining to Jesse how we no, humbly, how we humbly had fun and we wished he was there. <laughs> yes. Like they say, next time. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Today we're recording this Thursday. This comes out tomorrow, Friday. So at this point in time, we've been home. Um, well, I've been home for like <laughs> three, three, four days, like max. Dude, that you guys had the luxury of flying to the show. Um, it was nice. I sat in the Fields on Wheels for broke uh, we we broke it in, and let me tell you. Aside from the window, the feels on wheels held up like a fucking legend, champion right there. That's sick. I'm surprised it made it. <laughs> I'm not. It, I believe. I, I had. Good. I believed. Good. I believed. Um, dude, like, it, like it ran like a champ. Like we made it up there. Now we drove pretty much 24 hours straight to get up there, um, including like gas stops and um, and like food stops and bathroom breaks and stuff like that. Um, but there was like this just stretch of Idaho where <laughs> I was the only one awake and we were like driving through like basically like a two lane highway through like fucking just fields. And I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, what's, <laughs> what's happening? Why, why am I driving this? Um, <clears throat> but, but it was, it was, you know, a nice little, nice yeah. little ride. I don't think I've asked it, but how did you find the gas mileage holding up? Oh, sh Pure shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the what year is on, that van? It's a 2000. Mm. <laughs> and it's a 5.2 liter V8. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, um, total, we spent like close to $1,500 in gas round trip. <laughs> oh, dude, you should have just flew. <laughs> I know. Well, but the, like, we, so I was trying to find any way we could that we could just not drive. But then I was like, well, we could fly and we can just check in merch. But then when we get there, how are we going to get from show to show? Yeah. And then we'd have to rent a car. And then by the time like everything added up, it was just like, well, the van yeah, well. is just the fucking cheapest yeah. way to do this. Um, <clears throat> it was it was helpful for us because we took NBR merch too. <laughs> yeah. So we, we brought up our merch. We brought up NBR That's merch, true. guitars. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to pull a trailer or anything. Uh, and then we had like your breakables and stuff yeah. like that. So. Um, but it was just a, it was a hike, man. It was a mission. And then, uh, the good thing is, is that we didn't have to worry too much about like where we were staying, stuff like that. 
uh, Dan's brother put us up like right like dude like 10 minutes away from the venue okay, the first night um, <clears throat> and then uh, like do they fed us like a home cooked meal in the morning and that we left and shit yeah I saw that so yeah. I was like fuck it that's right. sick um, Tron cooked for us too but yeah <laughs> it, d- l- listen Mike <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to find the positives. I'm trying to find the positives of this trip, okay? <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah, S- Spokane, Spokane, for us, at least for Torture Culture, was the best show. Like the first show was the best show for us. Yeah. And I think it was, I think it was the best show in general. Spokane is just. Yeah, it's just, just fucking. Yeah. And you know what? Like, I, place. I'm really critical of Cruz. Like, and I, I'm always really c- critical of Cruz because of like the. Just because of like the fighting and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. But CYC fucking showed up for us, and that was sick. They came out and fucking held it down. That was that was dope. So appreciate you boys, and I and I appreciate that that up there, like the 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 dudes that came out weren't there to just like start shit or they weren't there to like fight. Yeah, they just they just came out to fucking hang out and have a good time, and that was sick. Yeah, well, I, mean, I think in general, man, Spokane, that whole scene up there, I think they're all just really supportive of just like music. Yeah. You know, whereas I feel like it's a special here, thing there. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like you only go and, you only go and support bands that are under this, like, you know, yeah. whatever it is. But no, I feel like they've, and that's why there's like, I, like, uh, you can tell, I think you can tell a scene, like a strong scene and, and, uh, and regardless of, you know, what crews are in it based on like the fact that like you can tell everyone there knew each other yeah they all fuck with each other yeah yeah, yeah. so it was it was yeah. such a cool vibe the only fight was during our set <laughs> <laughs> two uh two ladies had a disagreement apparently that's right that's right I did, it, it got broken up pretty quick yeah Ho- hopefully that. your beef is squashed and yeah. it's all good now yeah hopefully you guys are cool now um <clears throat> and then uh so since this show is you know about mental health and everything do we want to dive into like some of the heavy parts that kind of started this tour off? Yeah. Do we want to add, just do the mental health check and kind of be? Yeah, I mean we can. Yeah. You want to start, Mike? Um, sure, I'll start. Cool. Uh, so my mental health. I think. Um, I think this week it's been, it's probably not the sharpest because I'm like it's such a come down week. Yeah. You know, from like peaking this over the weekend. Um, but we, but we're, it's now Thursday, um, and uh, yeah, I feel like it's just like it's like one of those. Um, I, I I don't know what the word is. I basically, I'm just recovering. I'm just yeah, <laughs> recovering from the week. Um, it was a very very emotional weekend, um, as we'll get into. Um, a lot of highs, a lot of big lows as well, but um, overall, you know, I think. Uh, I think I'm in a good place. Um, I have to start up my freaking diet and exercise again. Yeah. Because uh, I haven't really been on it. Same, dude. <laughs> and uh, that's usually, like, I was I was doing, it's crazy. It seems so simple. But, like, this is why I think we're good to talk about it and why um, I like that we, like, we'll share is that, you know, when I'm on my diet and I'm doing, ex- and I'm exercising and I'm singing, like, surprise, surprise. I'm doing well. You're awesome, yeah. My mind mentally I'm good. I feel strong about things. Um, you know, again going and then, you know, just what what being around things that make you happy, being around people that make you happy. Uh this was a very difficult weekend with things that happened. And it was just, <laughs> it was just really you know, if like just being 100% honest like 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 of the dates we played, Spokane has always been just in general across the map. Spokane for MBR has always been like, yeah, one of the, one of the top spots for us always. And so it was, it was, uh, for that being, uh, like that, that was like the peak of like the down of the, of our, of our time there just with everything that was happening that day. Yeah. It was also really rad that it was there and that we were surrounded by friends. Yeah. And I just felt like, um, I felt like, Every time I would stop anywhere at the show, I would be ca- either catching up with someone or seeing someone who I hadn't seen forever, um, and just stuff like that. Like, it was it was nice to carry us through that 
that time. And, uh, um, but yeah, all I say is, you know, I feel like I'm just playing catch up this week mentally. I still feel good kind of right. Trying to ride that, that last little bit of, of, uh, you know, the, the, the awesomeness from the weekend, the tour endorphins. Yeah. But, um, definitely looking to get back on track mentally, uh, <coughs> this week. Nice. Um, nice, Mike. Whoever wants to go next. Let's go down the line, I guess. Let's do it. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty crazy for me. <laughs> uh, you know, I was really looking forward to this tour. I mean, I, I yeah, like, it's, it's, it's been forever, you know, so just to be back in Spokane with everyone again and see the band again, mm-hmm. sick. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I got some news when it started that uh, a f- family member passed away pretty tragically and that was kind of crazy to hear being away you know so it kind of just like took me back and uh i, I kind of just had no emotion the whole weekend like the parts that were like good were good and i enjoyed those moments but like my overall feeling for the weekend like but i don't even really have one <laughs> you know <laughs> um but uh you know, I, I got home and I saw my family and uh it was good to be with them, you know. Uh but yeah, it, the, like that whole thing kind of gave me a different like a- outlook on like my life, I guess. Um you know, like life is it it it, it, it can be fucking like done like that, you know. So <clears throat> You know, like, I decided to just do what I just love to do, you know, like, I could be gone tomorrow, so what's it going to matter, you know, but, so, you know, I, I want to start, like, doing music more again, like, for real, and travel again doing it, and um, I think next year, NBR's going to do more than we thought we were, which is sick, so... I'm looking forward to just putting my time and effort into just, I don't know, creating and being out there and, you know, playing again. Yeah. That's what I really love doing, you know, just like <clears throat> being out there this weekend. I was like, damn, like, yeah, I fucking do like love this shit, you know? Yeah. I could be out here and tour again full time. I'd be fine. Like, this is sick. So, you know, yeah, but that's where I'm at. <laughs> Um, so for me, it was kind of, uh, I was, I was really pumped to, to actually like get up, get out and, and just be on the road again, you know? Um, and it was, you know, as, as long as the drive was and as much as it was like fucking crazy to go through, um, you know, the, the ride up was like legit. Uh, when we were at the first venue and this was actually after I had, I had already found out about your, your uncle. Um, you know, we were kind of talking about it before I actually saw you in person, um, uh, before we all met up and then, um, got to the show, kind of got everything loaded in, started setting everything up. And then, um, pretty much like right before doors for the show, um, I got a call from my dad just basically saying like, um, you know, Isley, the, my, my bulldog, um, had, he he came to the house to feed them and then she had been laying outside just kind of like like catatonic like just just laying there not moving not wanting to do anything so he had to pick her up and carry her inside um and he kind of told me that and then i was like okay and he's like but she's inside she's laying down like we even sat and we watched like the videos from the nest camera to see like what was going on um and it was like even that was hard to watch because she was just like so yeah that was crazy yeah um and then so you know, I was like, okay, cool. She's, she's home. She's inside. And then like legit, like right before the first band started playing, um, my dad called me and he was just like, he's like, I'm so sorry, man. But like, you know, I think she's gone. Um, which like in my head, like over, I was just like, okay, like what do we do next? What do we do now? Like how, what, what do we do before we, um, like, you know, I didn't want to, like take her to a vet and put her on ice basically until I got back just to see her one more time because it still wouldn't be the same. Um, 
so we called like a cremation service and they came and picked her up and they're like pretty respectful about it like put her on a gurney and like transport her and stuff so um yeah and it was it's it's tough because it's the the sentiment is definitely like like this was the my road dog and like my best friend for fucking like almost a decade you know so long time and and she's been around for, for like she's just become a staple and then mm -hmm. so i kind of had to just put it like kind of like what you did like just kind of put it on the back of my head and just okay we got to focus on these shows like be present and in the moment you know try and have as much fun as you can uh, but at the same time like there was this like lingering thought of like well it, oh this is all going to hit me when i get home yeah <clears throat> you know and then so like kind of fast forwarding a little bit like i well i i went to the van and just like broke down for like a fucking like 20 minutes and then uh and then just kind of worked through it um but dude it wasn't until like like after we drove home and, and we got home um chewy was actually at my dad's house and uh i came home and it was just like that's when it was all like mm. it's so quiet mm. and then even when chewy came back to like my dad dropped him off at like nine like even just laying in bed like i didn't realize how accustomed to like her snoring or like her just crazy ass yeah. sounds that she makes yeah, yeah. like i was so used to that that like the house felt like dead like completely dead silent and i was like what the fuck, dude like it just like i couldn't yeah, sleep like it just it, it was Definitely silence yeah <clears throat> so like i i you know it's it was expected but at the same time not expected it was like the worst possible time um for it to happen but um after kind of watching the videos and seeing what happened like i'm just glad that she's not going through any of that anymore you know, like she's not suffering anymore mm -hmm. but <clears throat> yeah so there was like it was always like that little cloud lingering over you know and that was like right at the start of the show for everybody so yeah we were all kind of like in this like dude it was literally at doors yeah. The way the reason I know that was because I was going inside because yeah. the doors were open and I ran into at the door to two of our friends and I was talking and I was about to get into like like talking with them and I, I think I don't know if you text me or someone text me. I, just I like, text you too, yeah. Yeah, like I has gone. I was just like I was like, Hey, I was like, It's so good to see you guys. I have to go real quick. Like <laughs> I, I need to go real quick and they're like, Oh yeah, go for it. And that was literally at doors. Yeah. Like Oh, to say that the sh <laughs> before we even before the sh before, before the show's even, even started officially started <laughs> like just devastating news after devastating yeah. news and yeah and I, and I think that um I I think there were there were moments where like like Martin and I would just be standing outside you know relaxing and uh yeah. <laughs> and like we just wouldn't even say anything to each other we'd just be sitting there and they'd be like, all right, let's, let's run inside. Just like smoking a joint together, but not saying shit. Yeah, <laughs> just <like> nothing. <laughs> um, and so like, um, and and then like to top it off, all off, like you were filling in for Torture Culture. Oh, so yeah. you're playing two sets a night. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking yeah. 20 songs. 20 songs a night. Um, the funny thing about that is when people say like, well, I guess he could just go light during torture culture. Stuff. <laughs> like, you don't know Martin, dude. Martin doesn't really have a light, a light. Yeah. Switch. It's just, uh, just one. Just yeah. Go. So, yeah, the it the weekend was definitely it. Just had it, like we had fun. Like it was. Mm -hmm. I was so stoked to see everybody. Even like the people I'd never met before. Like, just became like fast friends. Yeah. You know, like with everybody. And um, even then, like it's just like. It was kind of in the, and I feel I feel like there were some times like like Frankie, mm -hmm. like I felt so bad. Um, I didn't like put two and two together, you know, like, and so like. In, in all fairness, she's never had the same hair color. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, like I, she had said hi to me, and I was just kind of like, oh hey, you know, but it, like I was somewhere else yeah, in yeah. my head, right? And then later on, when I realized, I was like, oh fuck, I feel like such a dick. Um, and I feel like I had a couple of those moments too. Um, like dude Austin and Alyssa flew out and I didn't really even get to like oh, yeah. really hang out with them um, you know but yeah it was there there was definitely that weird air to, to start everything off mm -hmm. but 
you know, for what it was, it, like it was fun, man. Yeah, yeah. good ass time. <clears throat> well, um, you guys want to just go into like, like lead up to it, go night by night. Uh, let's uh, go. Let's go. We should go night by night. Night by night. Yeah, because I'm kind of curious to. Um, well, so you guys, you guys had an interesting night uh, the first night before we even got there. Yeah. <laughs> to, to say the least, I'm gonna toss that to the side. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So first off, you know, basically traveled on my birthday. Yeah. And then <clears throat> kind of had a let loose night Thursday because that's when we got together. We all got to practice and stuff. And dude, I used to do this all the time. <laughs> like I used to be pretty decent as far as like having my shit together. <laughs> we're getting ready to leave and I'm like has anyone seen my microphone my only piece of equipment that I have. <laughs> the, one, yeah. the one piece of gear that you bring with you yeah and then, and then I was like oh you know what I left it at the practice space <laughs> so I had to go back and get it and then your earplugs and then, the most, and then the more embarrassing one I didn't know how it came about we were just talking about like yeah Mike and I like we like we got some pretty sweet earplugs and I was like yeah look even has a cool little case and I pulled the case out and I opened it it was just fucking empty I was legit embarrassed I was just like I felt like Mike. a little kid dude yeah. I was like come on Mike I'm like, uh, and I was like do you know where you where they are you're like I know exactly where they're at I know exactly where they are they're at the practice space um, so yeah it was it was uh, I think it was nice for us to kind of you know there's a lot of I got. I don't. I don't know how to explain to people, but like, like touring can be kind of stressful, obviously, because of traveling and lack of sleep and eating all that stuff. But at the same time, it is. It is kind of nice to be like. It's almost like a disconnect. Like yeah. Yeah. Yes. You never stop thinking about people at home. You never stop thinking about other responsibilities that are going on. But in those moments, it's nice to just be like around the guys. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I think it was just fun hanging out with, you know, the MBR dudes. Um, cause we don't get to see each other very much. You know, I see, we get to see, Mar I get to see Martin quite a bit, but even, even just in that space is just different. Like Martin and I don't get to hang out in the, that space. Yeah. yeah. It's a different type of thing. It's different, you know? Yeah. And so that was cool. It was just, it was, uh, it was nice. We, I think we, we, uh, you know, try to work out whatever kinks we could. And then just, we're like, you know what? It's just, now it's just, just play. Just fucking. Yeah. yeah. It have fun. fun it's it's a it's a place that we know well and uh yeah it was good it's good times i feel like you guys were you, just, you guys came out and you were just like right in the pocket um <clears throat> like almost like oh we've never left type thing you know mm. um so like when you know seeing you guys first play i was like oh okay sick sounds good everything's on, fucking on point and shit um <clears throat> but like kind of that same sentiment like just doing that long ass drive with Dan and just like being able to just like shoot shit and like yeah talk about you know like just nonsense everything everything like literally, literally everything, everything under the sun you have time yeah it was I was like oh okay this actual is actual like bonding yeah mm -hmm. yeah not just like bullshit like practice or like shows or anything like that you just like we're on the road together for 24 hours yeah um <clears throat> and we got <laughs> so um the lead up and day one i'm driving through uh i'm in the fields on wheels the, now the window broke the the driver's side window the motor broke and it stuck halfway so i had to duct tape the window shut right so i duct tape it and then now we're <clears throat> we're heading on out we're coming up 395 and it's just a whole lot of nothing and there's a few little towns on this highway that thrive off of speeding tickets. Of course. Right? So, like, these speed limits go from 65 to 45 to 25, and then, like, and then you're in a 25 zone for, like, mm -hmm. a couple miles, and then it goes back up. Well, <clears throat> apparently I missed the signs, or they just weren't really visible going into Lone Pine. It goes, like, 65, 25. Like, just <laughs> straight up, just... Speed trap. Yeah. <clears throat> and so, like, I, I pull into town, and then... I'm pulling up behind this like uh, this like truck or something with a trailer, and I was slowing down, but I was like, I'm just gonna go around them because it's empty, right? Mm -hmm. So I go hop in the left lane to go around them, and as soon as I do, just lights turn on behind me, and I'm like, fuck. So <clears throat> pull up and pull off to the side, and I I pull over, and uh, and like I'm looking in the rearview mirror, 
And um, the cop is like, gets out and puts on his Mountie hat. And I go, oh, we're fucked. We're getting, we're definitely yeah. getting a ticket. Um, he is bored as shit. Yep. Yeah. So he walks up and then he, he like goes to the driver's side. And now Krima is sitting in the passenger seat because Dan was um, laying down in the back. And then so he's like, um, you know, you know how fast you were going? And I was like, uh, he's like, this is a 25 zone when you're in the city. And I was like, dude, I've never driven through here before. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know. And he's like, well, uh, now you do. Like, you know, basically, like, give me your license and registration. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I give him all, all the information. And he hears Dan in the back of the van on the phone. And then he's like, so the people in this van? I go, yeah. And he's like, can you open this door? And me, I'm thinking I'm the brown guy in Lone Pine driving a shitty van. I'm not going to not comply, right? <laughs> we have nothing in our van that's yeah. going to like get us in trouble, so mm -hmm. fuck it. So I go, yeah, that's cool. You know, open it up. He opens it up, and he's talking to Dan in the back. He's like, he's like, um, where's your seatbelt? And Dan's like, oh, I just got up. And he goes, oh, I can see that, but you still need to wear a seatbelt. And Dan's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, license. So Dan gives him his license. This motherfucker wrote me a speeding ticket and wrote Dan a fucking seatbelt ticket. <laughs> and then to like to top it all off, he sat there and he was running like my ID, my plates, everything for like 20 almost 30 minutes trying to find anything he could like to get fucking get us for. He was yeah. walking around the van. I was like, "What the fuck, dude?" And then finally he comes back and after he had us sign the tickets, then he starts being super nice. Like, oh, you know, so where are you guys headed? And I was like, oh, we're playing some shows. And he's like, around here? And I was like, no, we're just passing through here. And he's like, where are you headed? And I was like, Spokane. He's like, that's a long drive. I was like, that yeah, is. it'd be yeah. sick if we could well, go now. Yeah. <laughs> Gas is fucking expensive. Yeah. So, and then he, fuck, so we finally, he, we let a, he let us go and we were <clears throat> going to get food at the Carl Jr. Like literally like 50 feet from where he got pulled <laughs> over, but it was a double yellow line. I was like. We're going to the next town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking turning here. We're going to the next town. Oh, shit, man. So, yeah, it was just, <laughs> yeah, just every step of the way, I was like, ah. Oh. <clears throat> but we, after that, we made it up. Like, we, we were really, really cautious in all the small towns. Because they legit, it would be like a 65 zone, and then there'd be a 25 sign with a speed limit, like, meter on it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you're going too fast. You're like, oh. Uh, did he tell you to have a good rest of your day? Yeah. <laughs> so like, thanks, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Yes, we yeah, will. appreciate it. Sick. Sick. So, yeah, our, our lead up was a little different than your lead up. <laughs> so. You have to go back to the to pay No, I'm going to no, do man. traffic school and just handle that shit online. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, so, and then we... We stayed with um, Dan's brother, which it was cool because Dan hadn't seen his brother in a while. So we we're like, oh, yeah, fuck it. Do you like hail your family time, you know, whatever. And his family was so sick. Like they do. They uh, like let us shower, let us sleep there, fed us like, you know, I was like, hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> but yeah, then Spokane. Um, so. Room thir room thirteen yeah. mm -hmm. uh, was the hardcore band that that got added onto the show and opened up the show and they fucking ripped. Yeah, they're sick. Sick. Um, sick. <clears throat> Doug the L.A. Kings jersey. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Um, so they fucking killed it, and then uh, and then you know the fucking Clay City dudes went up and they fucking sounded sick too. Like um, all the bands, Clay City, No Home, No Bragging Rights. We'll leave it at those three. <laughs> Sounded fucking sick. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was I was not surprised at all with how hard everyone went off for you guys in Spokane. Yeah, I, I knew I spoke uh, Spokane for sure. I was like, you guys are gonna have an awesome time in Spokane. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm just I'm I'm stoked that it like it was it felt good to open on that show, especially with how heavy everything else was. Yeah. So that that show ended up being like pretty cool for us. Um, and then, uh, so, uh, there were a bunch of people watching the live stream for the No Bragging Rights set. And at some point in time, your phone fell. 
<laughs> off of like the stairs that it was on. And then I started getting all these tags from people going, Mike, go pick up Mike's phone. And I was like, <laughs> and so like I was trying to like get your attention side stage because I didn't know where you set up your phone. Mm -hmm. And I would go and I would like tap your elbow and you just fucking like brush me off like like three, four times. I, I for real thought Mike was get I thought Mike was giving me the like, you still got it. Like I thought that I thought that's what he was doing. Like you're you're doing really it. good. Like, you're doing really good. good. It's so good. But, and then, uh, yeah. And then fucking at some point, this guy that I've never like I've never seen this dude before. I like I you know obviously, he turns to me and he goes, I don't think he's gonna pay attention to you. And I was like, I don't think so either. I was so. in the, I was in the zone, dude. <clears throat> but someone picked it up. Yeah, somebody. I think it was Julie. Somebody picked it up, uh, and then. And then I guess like I think it was Jesse that was telling me in the group chat people were like, "This is Mike from No Bragging oh, Rights." His phone was it you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mike from No Rights, and she's like, "I'm not gonna steal the phone," <laughs> and then fucking sets it back up. <laughs> uh, so. That's cool. You know, I so you know, I just wanted before I forget this, I can dispel. So I knew that the the phone that my live was still on, especially when I saw that it was on, and I, and I purposely didn't shut it off right away. Yeah, because I wanted to screenshot some of the comments because la when we played Tough Love, mm -hmm. Megan told me, "I wish you would read the chats. There's a lot of really awesome things. You, you, I yeah. wish you would have read it." And I was like, "Fuck!" Like, so you're gonna do the thing where you put it on your face and start screenshotting? Yeah. <laughs> and so, and so I went to do that, and I started to do that, and then you know I started talking to people, and then I just then I then I forgot. Then it was just kind of like a yeah. We were going in on the chat, dude. You're, you're basically moshing in the chat. That's awesome. Yeah, I see. I, I, I wanted to, I wanted to try to see what that was, just so I could have little memories of that, you know. Yeah. Because it was cool. And then, um, well, the nice thing about it is that uh, some of the people that were watching live, obviously, were like would message message me and stuff. So it was cool to hear um, Ashley from Salt Lake City tell me that uh, Brian's mom. Like she, I guess she sent her a clip of the of the wait and yeah. talking for the wait, and that she said thank you for that and oh. appreciated. Oh yeah, you know that we're that we talked about it and stuff. So it was cool. It was it's it was a uh, it was nice. At first, I was kind of like, should we do these live streams? Is is this gonna keep yeah. anyone from coming to the show? <laughs> coming from the show, I mean, like I'll just watch this on the yeah, live. I'll just stream. watch it at home with my fucking Doritos. Yeah. And yeah, my, yeah. Pajamas, but, but uh, but at the same time, I thought it was. I think it, it was kind of cool to kind of know that we had friends tuning in and yeah. stuff, and you know, I still get hit up by people just saying like, "Dude, enjoyed enjoyed your set," and you know, wherever it was. Uh, me and Chris were looking at the streams and we were texting each other like, "We should have been there, bro." But I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the moment you know, moments you know, passed. Now. Moments passed now. It's gone, Jesse. It's gone. All you can do is relive it and think about how you didn't go. Mm -hmm. You know? Thanks for making me feel more like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's all right. You know, it's okay, we're, dude. We're, we'll have other opportunities to make other memories. Yeah. Yeah. Just these ones you won't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're videos. It's okay. They're videos. Pictures. <laughs> Speaking of pictures and videos, it's a quick shout out. We'll probably shout them out a lot more. But yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you, Ali, for taking pictures. Our boy Kyle for taking pictures. Tim for taking pictures. Tim for taking video. Um, I mean, anyone else who took pictures of the show, obviously, thank you for taking pictures and tagging us. Yeah. But we had a yeah. uh, huge had, thank you to, to yeah. Allie and, and Tim, though, for yeah. holding it down mm -hmm. they always were, and forever for us. They were road warriors right alongside everybody else, man. Dude. Allie is such a, she's so sweet. She so hospitable when we come through and we stay, cause we stay, we stay at Anthony's, Anthony's house. And, um, like uh, yeah, just her taking time to be around. She drove a majority of the time. Did she? Yeah. Sick. I drove. I drove one of the, one of the uh, like one of the easier little ones. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> no, she she was just like, no, I'll drive. She's like, I don't mind. And then uh, yeah, we got a pretty sick promo out of yeah. one of her pictures. That's yeah. the hardest you guys have ever looked. That's the hardest you've ever looked. Hardest you guys have ever looked is that picture right there. <laughs> and then and then our boy Kyle got the new walking blind. <laughs> the new walking blind promo, promo shot. <laughs> the hardest walking blind will ever look, I think. We're gonna do a walking blind, um, like old school hardcore shirt. Yeah. With that picture, because that's fucking sick. Yeah. So thank you, Kyle. Kyle flew out from uh, Texas. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then Tim and Tim, uh, he's gonna. 
you guys i'm excited to see what he does with stages oh yeah, yeah. so we'll he's gonna be putting yeah. footage together of the shows and uh yeah i'm excited to see what he does i full <laughs> fully trust yeah anything that dude does yeah he was, yeah, he was killing it man. He's sick but um tim burton tim burton <clears throat> birth name yeah he's real, real deal real deal um <clears throat> but yeah spokane spokane was rad uh your cake, dude. Your dude, birthday. raccoon cake. Thank but, you, but Ashley. You left there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking left it for a moment. I didn't think Martin was gonna come. <laughs> ah, dude. That was such a good cake, dude. It was such a cool cake. Was it a triple cake? Man, no. It was no, a raccoon cake. It was a funfetti cake. cake. Ah, you it was a raccoon <clears throat> cake. You deserve this. It was Ashley, the biggest fuck. No, I, oh no, it's Cindy. Sorry, Cindy. Cindy was the one who. She didn't make it, but she's the one who got yeah, her friend sick. to make it. Thanks so much. Ryan uh, Ryan was like, hey, he's like, dude, do you want to put that in the kitchen? I was like, yeah. Because, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh uh. And then we, f we fucking forgot. Oh, I forgot it. I forgot my, my birthday cake. Raccoon yeah, birthday, birthday cake. cake. Look at this. Look at I this. Hope. Look at that. That's a nice cake. I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna if yeah. I remember. If I remember, I'm gonna nice put a little cake. cliff on there. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a it's bunch cupcakes. of cupcakes. Yeah, which is even cooler. Even yep. cooler. Even more waste. <sighs> Dude, I was so I was so bummed. And then I, I thought we were gonna crack into those like legit right after the show. Yeah. And then I, I was like, oh, I guess they already ate the cupcakes. Is that stunner, Mike? Dude. No. <laughs> I don't. I'm still. Yeah, it still hurts. <laughs> I hope someone enjoyed them. I hope that at least the staff there got them. Or yeah, yeah. But I think I'm sure someone someone dove into those. Yeah. So we we get home, or we get back to Trance because we decided just to just drive back. back. Yeah, so we, that, which was I was five like five in the morning. Five in the morning. We. Yeah, get I was up. wondering what, why you guys are fucking driving back, but it made sense. Yeah. Afterwards, but <clears throat> but yeah. So we we get back and then you know. uh I didn't no, I didn't drive. I was up with I was up with uh with Matt. Matt drove anyway. So we you get, weren't you weren't driving, but I know you were up and you because you were just texting me like like nice motivational things. You're like, hey man, Spokane really went off for you guys. <laughs> it sounded cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just fucking forgot about the cake. So then I so then I finally go on my Instagram and my my Instagram my social media right now is just stupid. It's insane right now. It's I'm insane sure. right now. Like Sorry to anyone who, I'm sorry I haven't responded to certain people. Like it, it's just you like, even missed this great birthday picture I sent you. <laughs> I know. Was that through? Was that? A, no, I think that was through text messages. Okay, I sent it to you and Martin. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll, we won't bring it up. <laughs> well, we won't put up. Um, but uh, and then I and then I remember finally as I'm going to bed. I'm like, I check his and I see a, a message from from Ryan. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Yo, your cakes, <laughs> your cakes here. What do you want me to do with it?" I was like, <clears throat> and so I just I sent out a, I threw out a hail mary. And I think I tagged you guys, Torture Culture, and, and Clay City, City and No Home, or, and just been like, I was like, "Hey, if anyone is still in Spokane, yeah, by the venue, please, if, if you can get my cake, that would be awesome." I think Clay City tried, Clay right? Clay City but did. They they stopped. They stopped in, and uh, but nobody was at the venue, so yeah. that was just one of many things I forgot. This entire, <laughs> this entire I was a mess, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um. That was yeah. That was night one. Night one. Um. So so day two, uh, we started heading to Tacoma, and. Uh, <laughs> We, we, uh, and do, so we got a, um, or was it, I think it was, yeah, I think we were, we were like, I forget where, we, oh no, maybe it was before, the, I don't know. I forget the timeline on this because my brain's all fucked up, but there was one point in time where we went to get food, um, and we ate at this little rail car diner thing, right? Mm. Well, <clears throat> we go, we put our names in and, uh, it might've been actually the first day when we got there, we go to put our names in, there's like a 30 minute wait. And Jake's like, yo, man, like, let's let's see what else is around here so we don't have to wait 30 minutes. We're like, all right, cool. So we're walking down the street in Spokane, and there's, like, this tiny, if if you know this, is, there's, like, a tiki motel, right? And it's just a pure shithole. <clears throat> right in front of it, there's a place, I won't say the actual name of the place. 
it's a diner. Dude, so we get to this diner and we walk in, right? And there's, it looks like a horror movie inside. Like it's mm-hmm. so dead in there. There's like one white lady with her kid, their same side of the table eating and just like not saying anything. <clears throat> and then there's like the, the chef and then the waitress. So they're like, oh, sit wherever. So we go take the corner booth. You know, when syrup falls out and just sticks to the table, you're like, oh, this syrup is stuck, right? Mm. It wasn't syrup. It was ketchup. Oh. And it had been there so long that it like thickened and coagulated into oh, this like. Wow. And so the lady was wiping it off. It took her like five minutes to wipe it off the table. And we're like, oh, no, this has been here for a long time. We were expecting And she was like, week. well, you can tell that nobody sat here today. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, there's no way that that ketchup gets like that after one fucking day. That's yeah. like four. Um, so then we're like, we're looking at the food and shit. And we're like, I don't know if we can eat here. But the waitress, she was a sweetheart. She was a little slow, right? So I was like, dude, she's being really sweet. She's just trying to make a conversation. Like, let's at least order a drink and then go. So we're at like a round of coffees. And then the coffee was fucking, it was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> like, we ordered a round of coffees, like took one sip. And even like Jake was like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't drink it. And we're like, okay. And Dan like finished his Pepsi. And he was like, that was the worst Pepsi I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so Pepsi's bad. So we paid and I felt so bad. She was like, oh, was everything okay? We're like, yeah, we just, we're about to meet up with some friends, you know, so we just wanted to grab a drink real quick. You know, so we tipped her and paid her and then we left and we went back to where we initially Uh put our name in and ate there. But it was like, and then as we walked back, there was like at the little Tiki motel that this diner's in front of, like six cops roll up, like something happened. (laughs) I don't know what the fuck happened, but we're like, whoop, we got out of there quick. (laughs) Tim died drinking the coffee. Shit. So... <clears throat> yeah, then day two we uh, rolled to Tacoma. You guys, you guys, um, you guys were already there. We um, met you guys there, and I think we were running a little bit late that day. Yeah, but it was it was fine. It was fine. Luckily, we backlined everything, mm-hmm. so we didn't have to like um, do super hectic load ins and like sound checks and everything. Um, <clears throat> but we, we got to, we got to sound check and I was, oh, that's the other thing too. Like the Spokane show was, was dope. Energy was awesome. It was great. Couldn't hear. Couldn't hear shit. Lot. I pushed so hard. <laughs> Every, on the show. Everyone pushed so hard, dude. All the vocalists lost their voice that night. To the extent. Um, and then, uh, and then Tacoma, Tacoma Sick. was a, a sound wise shout out to Aaron. Thank you, Aaron land for yeah. mm-hmm. Aaron. Killed, killed it. it killed it uh that dude's such a good dude um and then it was just nice to, like sound wise to be in a place like that uh so originally the show was supposed to be at real art it's a smaller venue i was about to say like that venue was beautiful mm-hmm. shout out tom real way art. too big for what we were doing but yeah i mean you know it it just it just uh you know it, it it's a nice venue but yeah, I think for us, the original idea to even do to come in the first place because we wanted to do real art. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they had uh, they already had had the night booked and stuff, so it was cool that we still got to do uh, the Alma and we got to do you know play to Tacoma, uh, and it was cool because Tron's family came out. Dude, that yeah. was so sick. So yeah. That was nice. They bought merch from us. I was like, what? And I didn't know it, who they were until after. I would have just fucking given them stuff, but uh, they're like what's, what's buying the- merch from everybody and supporting us. So sick. Yeah. But it was cool. Like I was saying that, like you know, each show is gonna have something like kind of special. You know, uh, Spokane being like one of the first places for us to be like, oh, this is like a home show, yeah, yeah. home. And then Tacoma, I thought I was excited for Tron because he's gonna get to play in front of his family. Yeah, you know, because I, I forget, but uh, Allie didn't come to, to Tough Love. That's Tron, right. Tron's first MBR show. Yeah. You know, and so, so it was, was cool. Her first time, yeah, her time, her first time seeing, mm-hmm. and then just you know being home, and then, um, and then you know not jump ahead, but knowing that Portland be for Daniel and yeah, that was cool. But uh, Tacoma, um, that was fun. I think that was one of the times we got to really start to like, uh, like I, I at least for myself personally, I got to uh, talk more with yeah. Clay City, yeah, and um, and uh, No Home and stuff. Um, 
you know, Spokane, I think it was more just like, for me, I was just everywhere. I was like, I wanted to talk to everyone because I knew yeah. everyone in that building. And then Tacoma was cool because we had plenty of time before the doors opened. You were and, just hanging out. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. I was watching a little bit of the Mariner game <laughs> <laughs> with no home. I'm happy for them. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't get heckled. At that oh, show, dude, I was ready for for the angel hat I and was ready. and by your own band as well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel bad. I didn't. I I feel like I, you know, I, I should have been there. You should have been there. Should've been there. I was like, maybe there's two of us in the building, and I look around. <laughs> Mike's nowhere to be found. <laughs> Fuck. I would to be in all fairness, I'll jump ropey. One hundred percent jump ropey into the green room. Um. <clears throat> Oh, I had things. I had things lined up, man. I had things ready. I, I was, re I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was prepared. Karima got that little got clip of, one. of me and you, like like talking shit mm -hmm. in, the, in the green room. Yeah, I was I was waiting for someone to give me something. Yeah, and then I would just say like, "Oh, congratulations, guys!" I remember my first beer. <laughs> you know, that was my number one. If they kept would have kept going. I'd have been like. Hey, for anyone who was alive, the last time you guys won a World Series, can come up here and punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, but well, luckily for you, I was, took I took the brunt of it. Who wants to talk some shit? I was I, almost in that. I was, you know, I was, and it was fucked up because it was. To I totally set myself up for it because I was like, "Give it up for Clay," and I like stumbled over my words just because I was all fucked up. And I was like, damn, I fucked that up. Uh, I fucked that up one more time. Get her for Clay City. And somebody was like, it's probably because that fucking Angel's hat. <laughs> you know what? When I watched the video, I, I know who said that. <laughs> it's our, our buddy from uh, Burlington. Sick. Man, he's a good dude. But yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah, it, was, it, it, was, it was fun because it was like, oh, we're not going to take, we're not gonna take ourselves too seriously on this we're just like all talking shit mm. and then fucking dan his choice of hats does not reflect on us <laughs> dude that was funny that was awesome i was like okay dan <laughs> <laughs> fuck all of you thought we, were, thought we were a unit up here yeah <laughs> we just bonded over 24 hours yeah, so many of the fucking wolves <laughs> martin anything stand out to you tacoma wise tacoma mm -hmm. um it was nice seeing Austin and Alyssa come out. Yeah. Yeah, out. yeah that was, so that was sick. surprising. Like, I, I was in the parking lot and they parked and waved hi. And I was like, are they, are they fucking looking at me? <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I waved, <laughs> waved back, not knowing who the fuck it was at the fuck all. Yeah. And then you were like, oh, it's, oh, it's Austin. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was cool. Um, for the record, I didn't really take my nuts out. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a way cooler story if you did take your nuts out. I know. But I, I saw that there was clearly ladies on there. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. Something that was just being funny. So the, the parking lot area where we were <laughs> at, um, upstairs of the venue was the green room. And there was a window from the green room that looked over the parking lot. And Mike was up there like, <clears throat> pulling his pulling his invisible junk out and yeah. plopping it on the on the just goofing it wasn't really out uh. um <clears throat> i know <laughs> so and we were like oh look there's some nuts up there and everybody's like looking at him <laughs> so but yeah uh seeing like i i knew they were gonna come but still it was just fucking sick that, sick um, that they did come out they got a nice little a day or two away from from the family a yeah. little vacation um but yeah, I was fucking excited to see him. Um, I felt good about our set that night. I mean, yeah. I, I thought we'd be good pretty tight. Uh, and um, yeah, I, I feel like I had more fun playing that night than the first night. Well, it also helped that the sound was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it's helpful. The sound was sick. You know, everything was like super clear and we, we, got we to, could hear ourselves. We got to experience something. At least, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure not pretty sure none of us have experienced this before but uh on monday before we left we went to real art because yeah. it's also there's also they, also they have food and cafe and stuff oh, so yeah. good and i um, just want to say what's up to tom but uh aaron was like hey so just for myself you don't have to release it or whatever he's like i recorded your set the yeah. audio 
and I went through and it kind of, you know, and we're like, okay. Oh, that's sick. And so we went into the venue and he played it through the venue speakers. At Real Art? At, At Real, Real Art. Art. So we were hearing like a pretty good recording of ourselves from that show, but coming through the speaker is, it was, it was, uh, I've never heard, I've never heard us like that. Fucking rad. It was cool. Yeah. Sick. It was cool. Like having a sick live recording is, it's yeah. different. I didn't realize some of the, the harmonies Martin did. Oh. <laughs> it was caught me off guard. I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, that was cool. Tacoma was rad. Oh, shout out to Michaela. Yeah, yeah shout out to out. Michaela. That was fucking sick. Yeah, she, Michaela. I worked we miss there, Daily Brew. Daily Brew, and um, and so she she moved up. Actually, she moved up like right when MBR came back to do the <clears throat> March show. Yeah, she had just moved to Seattle, and uh, yeah, it was really cool seeing her. I was trying to, I was trying really hard to like introduce her to everybody so that she can you know get, make, make get more to know friends people, yeah. and stuff. But um. Yeah, she was like, you know, I it's crazy. Like, I never got to see NBR, and I didn't think I'd get to see NBR and see you guys play. And I was like, well, yeah, that's right. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's always it's funny. There's, yeah, she'll she'll fall into that category of like the face that you've known so much in one area, and then they it's just weird when you see them. Yeah, somewhere else. Yeah, it's just like like Jackie and Jackie, Blind. dude. Yeah, dude, Jackie. Uh, Jackie might have the lead right now because she she's saw seen us in, in the, the UK, UK a couple times. Like, yeah. Everywhere back home, now in Portland, like I was sitting on the uh <clears throat> I was sitting on the curb in Portland, like turned and looked at her. And kind of the same thing you did with Austin, I looked at her and turned back. And then I fucking did a double take. She's like, What's up, dude? I'm like, What the <laughs> fuck? So yeah, that was well, I said that too. Yeah. Up, dude. Yeah, saw a, a lot of friends on this on this yeah. run. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice. Um Tacoma, we like we all played and then um, we had gotten a hotel that night. <clears throat> and then so you guys <clears throat> were going to like take multiple trips to like, like I think because of the ride situation, right? Mm -hmm. Like you were going to the house and then you were going to go to Top of Tacoma yeah. um, afterwards. <clears throat> and so I, um, we go back to the hotel and like, I was like, oh, I'm going to like rinse off and shower real quick. And um, <clears throat> Jake and Dan like, Went to the room and Jake was like, "Yo, let me know if you're gonna go out." Dan's like, "I'm done. I'm going to bed." I was like, "All right, cool." And then Jake, I see Jake posting like, "Yeah, we're fucking in bed or whatever." I was like, "Okay." You should have just came, in bed. Dude. And then um, Karima like knocked out, so I was like, I took a shower, and then by the time I like got everything settled, it was like almost the time that it was gonna close. Yeah. And I was like, ah, then I'm gonna have to drive the van by myself and go like figure it out. So I was just like, I'm gonna stay up and organize merch. <clears throat> I couldn't sleep last night or that night. I ended up walking down to the lobby at like 2 a.m. and buying like a Red Baron pizza to put in the shitty microwave. <laughs> and I just like put it in the microwave and I was eating these like frozen pizzas and just organizing <laughs> merch. See, that sounds <laughs> awesome compared to what we, what we went through. Yeah, you're... Our, dude, so we had such high hopes because we we're like, yeah, let's go out. You know, let's be young. And, and it was fun. It, it was fun. We went so out. It was fun. We went to cool the bar. Cool bar. It's called the Top, right? Top of Tacoma. Yeah. Top of Tacoma, yeah. Um, we got to catch up with our friend Sarah. That's another one that, like, a face that we just seen. Like, so she's from Michigan, but before, uh, before that, we had seen her randomly because she was, I think, stationed in Illinois somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we saw her anyway. So That's like, right. military? Mil yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Oh, okay. Like, like uh, she was on the big ass. Uh, what are they called? Carrier. Carrier. She's a seaman. She's a seaman. It's cool catching up with her. And so, like, you know, we leave we leave the bar, and then we're like, like, let's continue the party. At, let's get some food, and we'll continue the party at Tron's. <laughs> that was, like, the hopeful, like, plan. And then go to McDonald's, and, like, McDonald's just gave up. <laughs> McDonald's like, did hours, not give like, a fuck about you. Hour. Hour. There's, there. like, there's one there, but no yeah. one took our order. No one took our order. They're just like, like ghosted. They're like, mm. <laughs> and so we were there for, I don't know how long. Too well, long. Well, didn't they tell you guys you had to order through the app? No, 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 no. no. Oh. So we left that. after realizing like, okay, they're not gonna fucking. By the time they start taking orders, you know, we were all hungry. So like, we go. So, and and in all fairness, Tron warned us because we're like, let's go to Jack in the Box. Tron's like, no, guys, it's like worse. <laughs> we're like, well, no, let's go. 
And so it was worse. We get there. So we we wait in line, and by the time we get to the window, they're like, "You need to call, you need to order online. We're not taking anything through the." Why? Yeah. Oh, no. That's bullshit. It was bullshit. Yeah. So I don't know how long. How long would you say? We were at Jack in the Box for like an hour, dude. Like an hour, like, an hour. And like ten minutes, probably. Like an hour and ten minutes. Jack in the Box. We get to the was window. Was it fire at a least? while? And then. Um, I think they forgot my tacos. So fucking <laughs> Dude, I don't even. Well, I all, all I remember is that we didn't get our curly fries. And I was, we had like, curly I was, fries. I was like, "Fuck, fuck!" I this got my night. fucking tacos. <laughs> we left for an hour and ten minutes. It was Chewy, Chewy has like this like concerned look on his face. Like, it's all right, Chewy. Yeah, like he's like, "You guys waited that long made it. for some bullshit Jack in the Box? Yeah, it's for reals. <laughs> but it was like, it's like we were just we were like like pot committed. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we were like we've already waited this long, and so <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, so we get back to Tron's and I went. I was like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> like yeah, I'm, I'm good. And so uh, yeah, so that was that was Tacoma, mm-hmm. <laughs> Portland. Portland was. Uh, was what did we? Oh, we went early so that we could meet up with uh, Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. We we met Chelsea and. Daniel's new baby, Benson. A little Benson. Oh, little super day. cute, super cute baby. Mm-hmm. Eleven months old, super happy. You know, we went to this uh, breakfast spot called like called Hot Cake House. Yeah, it was super good. So good. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they came out, had breakfast with us, and <clears throat> it was sick. And then um, we just went to the venue after that, yeah. um, which is a sick venue, Mono Occulta. Mono Occulta is cool. Yeah, super cool venue. Uh, you should the call food, it Twilight the for anyone who. I don't know. But yeah, uh, f- 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 the show, like attendance wise, was probably the, the lowest of the three. However, it it, it was like a tiny, tiny venue, tiny a venue. nice like show to play. It was, it was like a small venue, small room, and it felt show. more. Uh, it, it it felt kind of more like intimate than than the Tacoma show for sure. Mm-hmm. No, Spoken was cool, but yeah. Yeah, it's funny. We had like a nice play this big ass venue <laughs> and then we play this nice little one and it's you know. Yeah. It was cool. The was the Portland show, um, so we rolled in we rolled into town a little early <clears throat> and um we ended up like going to like a vintage shop just to, and I found a sick ass nineties <laughs> Angels jersey. Yeah. And I wish I had found it the night before. I would have fucking worn it in front of all these yeah, but anyways. <laughs> um so I found this sick ass like vintage uh Angels jersey and then we when we got back to because we got to Mono Colta wait like an hour early. Hmm. Nothing there. There's like literally just a dispensary next door. Um so we were, so then we went down the street and like check out the shop or whatever. <clears throat> and then uh so when we came back um came back and I saw all you guys and you like everybody was just like so <laughs> I was like oh fuck everybody's like shot and you were like yeah last night was just and I was like damn I missed out on a party and then you told me the story and I was like didn't miss out on the party, out on the party. <laughs> got the to, bar was super fun the bar was cool had a yeah. great great time but that jack in the box run was ungood <laughs> that was not that was not the that was not, not the business not it not the business it was I was so tired that I even had to ask Mike. I was like, Mike, can I please take a nap? A power nap in your in the van, please. And yeah. So I went in. It was nice. It was it was I need it was exactly what I needed. Um didn't matter that it was hot cell in there. Yeah. It was like I, you guys cracked open all the little mini windows and stuff, and I remember at one point opening it up and just this like sweat yeah. and I was like oh it's hot in here so it but. was nice it, it uh I know I knew I knew it worked I knew it did what it needed to because uh like the achiness that I was starting to feel like it, it went away a little yeah. bit so I was like okay sweet so at least some some rest but um mono uh mono occulta though like you're saying it 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 was a sick ass venue um like you said like kind of one of the smaller shows Smaller turnouts, but also small venue, yeah. you know. So um, it ended up being like pretty sick, and their food was fucking bomb. 
Um, I ordered I ordered uh, some molitas, but I ordered them before we played, and then put them in the van. That way, I wouldn't oh, eat before right. we played and fucking feel like shit, like yeah. I did at Alma. Oh, or throw nice. up like I did in Tacoma. Oh yeah, you fucking threw up on stage. <laughs> Um, Did you catch it in your hand? No. No. I caught it in my throat, and I spit the last bit, bit of it out. Mm. Um, yeah, before the Alma show, I was, I was, we ate, and I, I was like, oh, I fucked. That was that. a good dinner. It was a really good dinner, right? Like good, the, the, the Alma burger. is cool. I hope I don't feel like I'm sound ungrateful for playing it. No, the oh, Alma yeah, was, fuck was fucking dope. Yeah. Really good coffee. Food was so good there. Yeah, and then food was boar good. Ta- the boar tacos. The boar tacos is what. So insane. So here's what fucked me up. I got a burger, and then I was eating the burger, and I saw Martin order an extra order of boar tacos. I had a burger, and then I got tacos. <laughs> yeah, and then so like I took a bite of one of Martin's tacos, and I go, "Oh fuck!" And then Dan looks at me, and he goes, "Do you want to order?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I do!" So we fucking ordered an order of boar tacos. And by the time I was done eating, because we also had the charcuterie plate. Oh, yeah, you guys did, huh? We got the charcuterie plate. The charcuterie board! The, the charcuterie board. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so, like, we had all this food, and then I was like, oh, no. And so I felt so shitty that I had, like, anxiety before we played. Oh, and I felt no. like I tried to go throw up, and I couldn't throw up. Oh, no. It was just, like, pacing. And then... You didn't want to gag your butt? Yeah. 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 Um, that one. <laughs> And that's when that's when I got the video of fucking shit in the mouth or what? Yeah, um, that's when I got the video of Mike fucking hardcore uh, dan- uh, two stepping up the fucking stairs and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no one knows either. Don't, don't get in, don't fucking be behind me. Or don't get too close to me. <laughs> fucking knock you off the stairs. Cause though, the girl don't play no shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, yeah, kind of like you said, I don't want it to sound like we're talking shit on Alma because Alma was fucking yeah. dope. It was sick. Um, but it was just like, it was. it's such a big, beautiful place that we had no business being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Staff was probably like, what the, yeah, what the fuck, fuck is going on? I remember guys. at one point in time we ate our food and I was like, yo, can I just walk through the door straight to the back? And the guy goes, I, I guess. <laughs> I was like, you're so bummed I'm here. Huh? I'm one of the artists. Like, yeah. What the fuck. Um. Yeah. And then, so Mono Mono Colta, um, the food was fire there. I ate it after we played, and that we fucked up, <clears throat> or I just I should have paid more attention, because the dude was like, all right. So um, he goes smoke machines. I was like, fuck no, no smoke machine, right? And then he's like, okay, cool. And then he's like strobe lights. And then I heard Dan go like, nah, just red lights, right? But then. I wasn't paying attention and Jake's like, oh, just make us fucking look cool, dude. Whatever you want to do, like whatever is going to make us look sickest. And the guy's like, okay, so strobe lights. Cool. Yeah. And Jake's like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh, no. The strobe lights during <laughs> the Fletcher set while I was playing were oh, fucking unreal, dude. <laughs> so, I, I, like, I, I was like, I was, I felt like I was fucking blind when I came out to do the part. I kept bumping into you, dude. Not going to lie, dude. Like, like was, most of that set, I had my eyes shut. <laughs> Just hoping you hit the crash. Because just, just <laughs> it I was, was fucking too playing, much. and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, dude, M- oh my god. M- MBR had it, I think we had it in our rider. No, no. no strobe lights, yeah. no fog machines. <laughs> well, like, I'm gonna fucking throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Dude, I like, I, I, I felt like I went blind. <laughs> it's so bad. I felt dude. like I went dude, completely I, blind. like this. <laughs> For like for a couple songs, like I was afraid. Like God if you it. watch that set, I stand very still, because the fucking stage was like literally a foot in front of me, and I was afraid to jump around because of the fucking strobe lights, and I just fall Dude. directly off the stage. I was on the floor, <laughs> yeah. I had nowhere to fall, and I was terrified. You couldn't see just anything. Dude. Looking at my arms and just doing this. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it was like, it's like oh my god. Dude. It's crazy. Oh, dude, they were so. It was it fucking it was nuts. All that being said, the staff, <coughs> the staff at Monoculture was fucking awesome. They were fucking yeah, awesome. Great. We're just like, so great. hospitable. I just, I should have paid more attention because I should have yeah. said no to the strobe lights. That's it. I was looking at the clip of like you guys playing, and I remember I looked at it because I was with my brother. And I go, shut out. And my brother goes, well, that must have sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. But like, that was wild. Yeah. I, I went and I was just like, as nicely as I could, I was just like, 
I was like, hey man, for our set, is it cool if we do like no strobe light and like <laughs> no fog machine? Is that cool? He's like, oh yeah, yeah totally. And then, uh, and then a, a thing that I don't think I've ever heard in my life. He's like, which lights do you prefer? Or which lights would you not like to have during your set? Yeah. And I was like, I I don't know. And I wish you'd asked like, me that question. Well, then Allie was there, and Allie's like, don't do purple. Yeah. Do and then she like said lights that would be good for photos. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh shit. No, Got it. it. I was I was even thinking like why don't we really have photos from from Portland? Oh, it's because there's a fucking <laughs> <laughs> seizure machine going on the mm, whole that's fucking crazy, time. Dude. dude, I am I my, my <laughs> I like, part Oh god, what's happening? <laughs> dude, what's happening? <laughs> my my part with your guys' song is maybe a cool what, thirty seconds 30. or something? <laughs> Dude, that was that was the roughest part of this tour, dude. Like, I couldn't. I was. We bumped into each other so many times. times. We were on the floor. We were on the floor. There's space. At, at some point in time, people were circle pitting around me, and I didn't know where they were coming from because it's like, <laughs> and I was like, ah, ah. that's crazy. Dude. At at one point in time too, I think I even like during the strobe lights, and then like I think we fucked up a part of a song, and I just. I got lo- I didn't know where I was and I didn't know what I was saying. Uh, uh, the, You're seeing a whole different song. And I just I just stopped and waited for a part to come back in on. It was just so <laughs> fucked up by everything. I was like, oh, I'm done. And I always feel Party. bad. I like because I feel like for sure we had to have had it in something like a writer or something. Because I remember there was a time when we'd have to like it. It would happen, and then I I always feel like a dick and be like, Hey, can we like not have struggle like please? Thanks. Like, yeah. Did you feel I don't know. I feel like yeah. they're, they're, I feel like they were trying to make your like they're trying set. to make your show look yeah. sick. Yeah. Sick. Right? Fog machine. I get it. I understand like why, like let it go. Like if you're going to do the fog machine, let it go early and, and then, then let it linger. Then let it linger. And then from then don't yeah. like, uh, at first uh, I always make a joke about it. Whenever like a fog machine go off, I'd like, <laughs> I like bat, like bad at it and stuff. But then like after a while, it's like, dude, fuck that. like this shit's not good for your voice, man. <clears throat> I think I had that strobe light, only been at certain times would have been eh okay but it was the fuck from the start to finish of the set it was I think the lights, the, the that lights was crazy with the, with the drums Mm-mm. Or, or, Mm-mm. Know, but... it's cool again for the size that's not a big venue like they care about like yeah about yeah they were really the fucking good. cool i just wasn't paying attention when they were asking what we wanted and i mm-hmm. should have been I shouldn't have let other people handle it. <laughs> I, I was totally, you know, because, you know, I try to watch all the sets, but, you know, I'm also got to warm up and stuff. And so I don't remember there being strobe light at all during your set or anyone's set. I don't know. I don't I don't remember that. So just to be up there and be like, all right, let's do this. And then like, fuck it. Oh, shit. Ah! Like fucking Zeus ran down on the fucking <laughs> set. Fucking yeah. crazy. But... But uh, I'd say, yeah. <clears throat> Boiling was sick. It was cool. It was cool. I was happy that Daniel got to say, Daniel doesn't get on the mic ever. Yeah. You know, aside from obviously vocal parts, but like as far as talking, he doesn't doesn't say anything during the set. And so it was cool. He had a little moment. Got to think his friends were coming out. Yeah. And, his coworkers and stuff. And yeah. you, they came out, dude. Like, yeah. There were a ton like, of them. That was I was like, fuck yeah. yeah. And I could tell they were they were Daniel's friends because I was like, they don't give a shit about anybody else except <laughs> fucking no <laughs> bragging rights. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're here for. Uh, it was cool. It was it was a nice, nice, nice way to end. Um, oh, we went so after, after this, after uh, before we went, headed back, we stopped at this really good Mexican food spot. Oh yeah, and uh, we kind of we kind of went pretty hard after the show. After mm-hmm. the show, uh, Tron just got asada nachos for everybody on top of whatever we were sick. already getting. Yeah, it was it was a pretty pretty awesome little last meal last tour night meal kind of thing um and then yeah, I just went back to Tacoma um and so yeah that was it as far as the shows go Monday we basically we had late flights so we kind of just it was nice we got to like I was gonna say we got to sleep in but nobody slept in no we <clears> went <throat> and had lunch at Real Art that's cool though at Tom's Cafe oh uh, t- so good. The so there, freaking good, man. The Mad Max sandwich. It's like a au jus dip deal. Fucking tight. Man, well, I need to get that next time. While you guys were doing that, I was driving. Yeah. 
<laughs> Anything notable about the drive, though? <clears throat> Anything scenic you saw? I don't know. At one point in time, I just got so delirious that, like, even Crime was like, pull over and let somebody else drive. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah. I don't, I don't know if Martin remembers this. <clears throat> I feel like everyone probably would. I'll never forget we were in Texas because it was hot. And our engine kept overheating, so we had to ride with the windows down and, and heat the heat cranked. On. Yeah. And so I was driving. Two in the afternoon, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm driving, and then all I all I remember is fucking waking up. <laughs> <laughs> like we're like we're like, <laughs> we're like into the strips, and then I don't know who was with me, and if it was Martin or Christian, but they were like, "Did you fall asleep?" <laughs> <laughs> Did you fall asleep? It's like two in the afternoon. I was like, oh my gosh. It was it was the warm air, like the, the warm, yeah. like that warm like hot hot breath on you. Like, I don't know why that fucking put me to sleep. I, I totally remember that. I completely it wasn't even like I just like I dozed. I went like dead. I just <laughs> I just was out. And we like went hard like off we like driving my braille. Like oh we my woke God. up, we were bouncing everywhere. And everyone was like, what the pull over? It was crazy. Dude. I was like, no, I'm good now. I'm good now. I'm up. Yeah, like, I'm no, awake pull now. over. <laughs> All right. My bad, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I think that the drive home was just a fucking mission. Like, we were just like, let's just get home. Yeah. We stopped once at Denny's just nice. to eat. And then there was a, like a pilot right next door. So we all use the bathroom and stock up on everything. And then just fucking go. Powered it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I think Respect it's. Respect to, to you and the guys that yeah. were in your van who. Who, who spent that time in the van to travel <laughs> during during a tour, you know, and really put in that work, you know? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot. Sick. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a long fucking drive, dude. We, <clears throat> shout yeah. out to, you know what? Shout out to fucking Crima for jumping in the van and just literally not complaining, not even once. That's she cool. would just randomly be like, is it cool if we stop so I can pee? We're like, fuck yeah, it's fine. Let's go. Like, you know what? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So and then she got she got a lot of uh like she just got a camera so she's getting like learning yeah, yeah. shit. Which is cool. Um, but she's gotten some cool like little behind the scenes mm -hmm. shots and That's everything cool. like that. So um what are what, did you have first off have you had a pre existing tour snack? And and if not or what was your tour snack on this? So anytime I'm driving it's always some sort of like Cheetos, but like puffs. Mm. And this time it Good was choice. puff puff corn. Nice. The puffcorn so just. Melts Wait, the mouth. white cheddar one? No, no, no. <clears throat> it's they're Cheetos, but they're like popcorn, but mm -hmm. puffs. Oh. And they're oh. crack, like legit. Oh. Yeah. Good. Dude, I had a, I had a total like, was it Pavlov, where we went in to gas. We went into one of the gas stations. I don't. We're, I, I guess I don't know if we were really stopping for gas or we were stopping for something. I went in. Fire who I was talking to, grabbed a payday, just out of just yeah. out of habit, and then went went to go either look for a water or like a monster, like a like a Java. Yeah, I went straight into like, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> paydays, man. Dude, I do have to say, uh, shout out to Raw and Liquid Death. Oh yeah, for oh, yeah. F not only like dude lacing us up for the for the drive. Um, <clears throat> but then also arranging it so that we had like drop offs in, in, uh, um, to or in Spokane and, uh, Portland. Portland. Um, it really, dude, it, it really was helpful. Dude. Yeah. And, and just the fact that, like, you know, obviously, you know, we, we always joke, like, oh, we fucking suck liquid dust stiff. But like, we genuinely like, like the product. Yeah. Right. It's so, so, so just the fact that, like, and we got kept, we were kept laced up. And then at one point in time, um, I forget who it was. Somebody like we got to Portland and I got the cases from the back and we brought them out front. And somebody was like, do you guys just roll around with like all these <laughs> cases of liquid death? And I was like, oh, uh, no, it's a it, we got we had it like uh, dropped off. They're like, you got liquid death dropped off. <laughs> and I was like, it's like a homie who thing. That? One of the dudes in the bands. Oh. Um, I forget who it was. Um, and I was just like, yeah, we, we, it's, it's kind of cool. And then even Daniel, uh, Daniel, NBR Daniel was like, did, did, so did liquid death, like just sponsor this tour or is this because of the podcast or like, and I was like, it's just the homie roll. 
podcast. you know, and, and the podcast, uh, you know, sick. Me too. I will, I will say this though. <clears throat> so Mike has this, um, this, you know, moment where he's talking about like going to school, you know, and like, um, stepping away from music to do all, all this stuff. And I'm like, you can't include in there. Like I didn't start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know what I mean and then he was like oh yeah I should do that never did it did most the most Mike said was he he got on stage of torture culture and then as he's putting his mic away oh, my God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> episode 45 out now <laughs> follow like and subscribe <laughs> you know I'm not checking on your homies <clears throat> merch coming out no yeah. merch coming soon yeah I I uh I wanted to talk about the podcast <laughs> But I ended up talking about other things. Something I noticed really quick. We'll probably wrap this up soon. Um, so I, apparently when I talk on stage for MBR, usually I get something pretty intense. Yeah. And so <laughs> so in Tacoma, I was like, I was like, hey, so when we first started touring, we had this merch guy named named Jesus and Jesus. And, uh, and I kind of, you know, I was just like, I think everybody's waiting for me to be like something tragic happened to him. <laughs> so everyone, I could feel everyone preparing themselves. I was like, fuck man. I was like, dude, we gotta bring some light into this. <laughs> and, but anyway, I just talked about how he's just like a shitty merch guy, but such an awesome dude. Yeah. And then Jeffrey, his brother came out and did guest vocals and stuff. But I think I thought it was just funny cause I could feel everyone getting ready, like, like oh, bracing not, themselves. Not Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, no, it was a fun, it was a fun, fun little story. Yeah, but, people aren't used to fun little stories from you. I know. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, next time. Next time we'll shout out. I was hoping I wouldn't have to shout it out because I was hoping we would have had, you know, our merch. But <laughs> next next time, Walking By merch is coming. It's sick. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we, we did have a couple questions oh. about the show. Uh, mostly, from, <laughs> mostly from Chris. Shout out, Chris. <clears throat> but uh, question one: How did the feels on wheels handle the trip? A little champion, other than the window um, and the gas mileage, it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was different from this run than other runs from when y'all were younger? <clears throat> I drank way less <laughs> and partied way less. Yeah, this time around. <clears throat> yeah, um, I, th I think. It's still weird to not have home base. And what I mean by home base is our fucking van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We really don't realize, weird. like, you, we live in that thing. Like, it's our apartment. It's like I have my bed. Like, we all have our beds yeah, our escape, in there. You know? yeah. Our escape. Yeah. It's like, if I, if the venue is, you know, if the green room is too crazy or there's nowhere to warm up, I'm warm up in the van. I just felt like I'm vulnerable. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> like, yeah, because it's, it's, I'm shocked you never asked me for the keys. I don't, well, because I, I don't know. Like I, I know it's the feels on wheels, but at the same time, I was just like, well, I kind of, I understand what the space is. Oh yeah. yeah and so yeah. I kind of wanted you guys to have, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, so that it, it was just, it's just, it's just funny having to be like, okay, we got to figure out how we're gonna get gear and how we're gonna do this and that when we've <clears> never <throat> had to worry about that yeah. ever. Even like merch, like I remember, yeah, like calling me, Martin calling me, like, so where, where are you guys at? <laughs> how far away are you? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're so used to not having to rely on anyone because we're such a, such a. You're as a band, you're just such a your own little unit. And yeah. Everything is, you have everything. Yeah. yeah. Everything that you need is right there. Yeah. So that wasn't that was kind of a little bit of a weird adjustment. Um. And then. But it was cool, just like hopping in cars and doing these shows and. Yeah, I was. You know, I was like, was sick. I was like, Spokane's not that far from Tacoma. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you're in a car, you yeah. can drive eighty, like we were. True. You know, and so. <clears throat> but I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, it's just little, little little things like that were like different. Um. I don't know. It just it was just, it's just it's it's weird. I don't know if you guys kind of felt this too. When you're touring and you're playing a show, regardless if it's day one or you're in the middle of it or even if it's at the end, there's no thought of it being final. It's just kind of like tonight's tonight. I'm focused on tonight. Yeah. Do what it is. And then, you know, tomorrow, new place. Yeah. New refocusing to whatever that is. Like, it's just so in there. Whereas this, it was weird to have it being like 
oh, like, this is really, you know, we don't know how often we need to it. do this. We don't know, like, what this is. Like, everything how, had a little bit more weight, I guess, to it. Um, which is, I guess that for me felt different as opposed to like, you know, you just, you, I, when you're in the middle of touring or when, when you're in that, you just don't think it's going to ever really stop. So you always just focus on the top, like the day at hand and getting, you know, do what you got to do for, for that day. <clears throat> how are we going to get there on time? And then let's load in, let's get shit done. Let's get merged together. Yeah. Like it's like a, it's a, a cycle, if you will. <clears throat> yeah. Um, how do you feel that crowds took to hearing Torture Culture for the first time live? I'll let you guys answer that one. Spokane fucking loved it. Which yeah. I, didn't, I don't think it was a surprise to me. Or <coughs> um, It was different for me because I was playing. Yes. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just focused on playing. So, I, But um, I, I saw people out there like moving around and stuff. So yeah. I feel like it always took like one or two songs to get and then by like the by the time you came up like for the third song that's when kids would like get into it or start moving or start mm. like fucking with us um <clears throat> you know and i think that uh i mean definitely huge thank you to everybody that did like fuck with us like that was that was rad um you know i'm i'm stoked that i was stoked to just even be playing I had no clue how people would react to us. I think we talked about this before. I was like, yeah. fuck, we're going to be like that one hardcore band. But, you know, um, <clears throat> it went really well. And um, I, yeah, I think that it, like, it would take some warming up for people to get into us. And then, like, towards the end, they'd be like, okay, yeah, cool. Even if they weren't, like, you know, they don't know the songs. You know, they're not crazy, at, like, like in a circle pit or, like, fucking moshing and stuff like that. But we had some people come out and do some two steps and, you know. It was cool. Yeah, it was fun. I felt, yeah, I felt like, I felt like it wasn't like I I didn't get a sense of like people weren't enjoying you guys. Yeah, there's yeah. watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, soaking it in. <clears throat> uh, how many emotions came over you guys and why? And then did anyone touch your guys' hearts with a story? Mm. Me no, but I kind of like, kind of went into like hermit mode when I. Yeah, went same. I wasn't really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, I was feeling a lot of different stuff. Uh, um, just, you know, there's a lot, a lot going on, you know. And then uh, story-wise, yeah, I got to talk to... Um, I felt like I heard some really encouraging stories, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's kind of, again, it's, it's kind of neat to come back because, you know, we have, we have these friends that I remember them being in one place. And I don't even know if they remember what they told me. Yeah, you know, 2013 and or whatever. seeing them in a different yeah, yeah, yeah seeing them doing cool. well now and stuff. So I felt like I heard a lot of cool stories. Actually, um, one of the one of the more like nice interactions. It might, might even be on the freaking video uh, or my own <laughs> the live. And it was um, I feel bad forgetting her name, but she came and introduced herself, and I guess she had told her mom about her band. She had, I think her mom checked us out. And wanted to see it for herself, kind of thing. And so I like met the whole family. Like uh -oh. she brought her brother, her sisters, or whatever. And then her mom came, and her mom introduced herself to me and uh, said that she appreciated what we said. She she called she called. I think she said something like, "She's like, uh, I felt like I was just listening to a sermon or something like that." Uh -huh. But like in a nice way. <clears throat> yeah, which is nice because I'm like preachy. Did I found just yeah. that preachy. <laughs> yeah, did it sound like it was preaching? Yeah. But that was cool. That was rad. Um, uh, it's always nice to meet families and that we're, you know, mother approved. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I felt I felt like most most of the things I I spoke with people. I felt like it was more encouraging. Um, and then just a couple of people telling me, uh, just to kind of you know if I could keep in touch with them or um, or just kind of like uh, asking you know what can I do to kind of get out of a little thing that I'm in right now? Yeah. And so that was nice. Cause before I used to be terrified to get that. Cause I really didn't know what to say other than just like keep working, try to find things yeah. to make you happy. Uh, whereas now, you know, I feel like I, you know, I, I'm still not, I'm not licensed to give any advice in that way, but at least I feel conf confident enough to let me know like, Hey, you know, there's resources in your area that you probably don't know about. Yeah. You know, I check those out. Um, 
I really was trying to encourage people to like build community. Like that's one of the things that uh, I've talked to people like, I was like, dude, do you know, do you have friends here? What? And one, one of the guys there, I don't want to, you know, put him out, but, um, you know, he was saying that he, he kind of left the scene and this was like one of his first times back in like a long time. And so he doesn't really have that anymore. Yeah. And so with him, I was kind of encouraging him like, Hey, like, you know, try try to connect like someone, even if it's one person. Yeah. I was like, you know, you can make me that like for sure. Um, but I was like, you know, like, dude, this is like, you know, you know, people here, like, yeah, just tell them, you, you, and that's, even if it doesn't feel genuine, like if you need someone to check up on you, like even if you're setting an alarm in your phone, that act right there is, it goes such a long way. Like what you guys were saying, how you guys would just be outside and just not doing anything. Like just that presence just being of just together. being together, like yeah. that does so much. And so, I don't know, I, w- I, I was kind of hoping to kind of push that, like be like, dude, this community, like this <clears> is a cool, yeah. se- this is like a cool thing here. You know, music is awesome. Like if, if nothing else, you're in a room, yeah, you guys all at least have one thing in common and that's music. Yeah. Obviously, you know, and then if you go from there, it's like, oh, okay, well, if, if there's a band that you guys both like, there's two things have in common. Yeah. And then, you know, I feel like, I feel like there's been really cool friendships that we've been able to see that aren't even, that don't, don't even involve us really yeah. like a really, really random one is our, our, uh, our friend Kelsey and Tosh. Oh yeah. Tosh is from Germany. Tosh is from Germany. Kelsey Tosh is from Michigan. Michigan. And they became like best friends and they visit each other and hang like out. Sick. And yeah. Like it's so sick. Like Tosh, uh, Tosh had flown out. <coughs> And she came out, she went to one of the shows, right? And that's how she met her? Or did they just meet straight online? Uh, I don't remember when they met, like, the first time hmm. together, but I don't but know. It's just, I don't know. I, but anyway, all that to say is, like, that is what I think should happen. Yeah. You you should be able to make those connections because there's a lot of like-minded people in that building. Right. You know, hardcore or the kind of music we're into in general, you have to seek it out. Yeah, you know we're not getting yeah. ads on the, on the radio and on TV to come to our shows. Like, it's you're usually some 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 kind of connection connection is there, and so I don't know. I just I I hope that I hope that more connections were built at these shows. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's my long winded answer for that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, did uh, you guys miss me and Jesse? No. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Chris. No, I was having a great time up there. Yeah, it was sick. You know, it was nice nice to be away. <laughs> Playing drums on stage. It's so cool. Just being around people, making that trip. Yeah. yeah. Making that sacrifice. You know, being around the people that really wanted to be with us and, and make oh, those. Yeah. <laughs> Playing... Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we had a friend that flew out from Texas. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. we had friends Shout that out. flew out from North Shout Cal. Out Kyle, actually wearing the fucking shirt. Thank you, Kyle. This is my birthday present. Hell yeah, Kyle. I told, I told Mike, I was like, because Mike had got me a sick shirt, Wolverine t-shirt. And I was like, dude, I'm going to fucking wear this every night. There's some sick-ass promos of you in that Wolverine shirt, too. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm going to wear this every night. And then the next <laughs> the next night, buddy Kyle was like, I got you a birthday <laughs> present. I was like, oh, thanks, man. And there was this fucking raccoon t-shirt. And I was like, oh. Mike legit came to me. He's like, "Hey man, so your know, Kyle's here from Texas, and he got me this shirt. <laughs> he like, like unzips his windbreaker, and I like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like wear it tonight." And I was like, "Okay." I was like, <laughs> like, it's pretty cool. I was like, it's cool. <clears throat> uh, we're just kidding. We love you guys. Yes. How did both your voices feel at the end of the run? I was shot. Like today's the first day. I'm kind of feeling almost normal, but you could still hear it. Like I'm, but and and that a lot had to do with the first night. Um, just going uh, one i was emotional to the sound i couldn't hear myself Mm -hmm. and then i just went way 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 too hard the first night and then i just felt like i was trying to keep up the rest of the time like and i think that's part of what my anxiety was in spoke or in tacoma it was just like oh fuck is my voice gonna be there Mm -hmm. and by portland i was like well this is the last show so just we're gonna fucking let it go and figure out what happens so i think yeah uh, I think all of us had this like moment on Monday, of course, towards our little runs done. I I woke up and I was like, I'm in tour mode. Yeah. I was like, I feel fine. I'm only on, I was yeah. waiting on like four hours of sleep. I was like, I feel I fucking, fine. fucking fine. 
yeah wasn't achy my I voice felt good i was like me- i was messing around i was like oh like i could yeah when i when i picked you guys up i totally expected you out of both of you guys to be knocked out and then he jumps up in the front seat he goes so yeah man so everything i'm on tour and i was like we're talking i was like dude like how are you not <laughs> <laughs> it was in tour mode dude it's a thing it's a thing <clears throat> i think had it not been like me and dan just splitting that drive um I think I would have felt better. Yeah. But just like leaving Portland and then legit jumping into a car at midnight and then just driving 16 mm. hours. It just, yeah. <clears throat> and then I, so like I, I drove for like two, three hours, switched with Dan, went to sleep for like maybe four or five hours and then got back in the driver's seat and then just hoofed it the other nine home. <laughs> so. How did you feel after the, um, you know what? Surprisingly, I didn't feel too crazy. Um, I mean, yeah, I woke up tired every day, but I, I wasn't like, fuck. Not like that I was don't want to do this. Yeah, like I was yeah. like, okay, like, fine, you know. <clears throat> so, um, it, it was nice to play the torture culture set prior because I was like warmed up already for a yeah. set. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was actually pretty impressed because. I did zero training for anything. <laughs> Getting up to this, yo, I, I didn't do Nothing. a fucking thing. No, me, no meanwhile, practice. me doing the fucking most <laughs> just to like... He has his no band one, mask on, he's running, no jumping. One, no one could tell that I was like... like I was like, You didn't put your hands on your knees, and that's a good thing. Yeah, all that to not put my hands <laughs> on my knees. All that. We're going to at four in the morning every day, jump roping, elevation mask. Weighted vest, just so nobody could fucking know that I wasn't dying on stage. But you, but you came out of it fine. Yeah, true. Yeah, you came out of it ready for more. I was ready. Martin does play with like fourteen other bands. So. True. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Check them out; they're all really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, that that being said, um, coming out of this, what's what's the plan for NBR? Um. We actually, as of yesterday, we teamed up with our good old friend Dan Defonce and a uh, new agent over there. His name is Liam uh, with TKO Booking. And um, yeah, I think we'll be doing more runs than we thought we were going to be next yeah. year. Um, Submitted for some cool festivals. Yeah, hopefully we cool get some shows. shit. You know, we got, we are already in, like, it all kind of started just. Like Martin just straight texted him, yeah. like we didn't even do the proper email. I just texted Dan. Yeah. Just texted him, and then <clears throat> the first thing, I don't expect <laughs> us to get this, but the first thing I would say, don't say what it is. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say what it is. Okay. No, no, I'm, we're not saying shit until I, it's confirmed yeah. and yeah. it's announced properly. I'm, I'm not gonna like. But it's just funny that like <clears throat> out the gates. It's but like, if that fucking happens, yeah, out the gates, it's like hey. This yeah. is what we'll submit you guys for. We'll just see. That's pretty yeah. good. You know, and that's, I mean, that's what, you know, whatever. Like, but it's just, I think it's just, it's like one of those things, like, I don't, this is the lamest comparison and like five of our listeners <laughs> will understand this, but it's like, it's like, we're back in the testing pool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. fights are coming. Like, like I want to do this again as much as possible. And I'm even going to like switch around my like, work shit to so that i can to accommodate do it. this to accommodate this you know because mm-hmm. fuck yeah. it man like and and what's cool is we had talked like before this before we done this we all kind of had talked and had an ag- agreement on what like as far as like what can this look like moving forward because for people to understand like there's just a lot of things just different it's just things are just different things like, are different they're just different now from when yeah. we were you know, doing it, you know, we had these massive debts, which we don't have anymore because we paid them off, like, during that time that we were off. And you so, guys also have members now with a different mindset and mm-hmm. a different approach to how things should be handled on tour. Yeah. yeah. Which is a huge plus. You know, um, it may look a bit different here and there on some shows. Like, if Matt or Daniel can't do a certain run, Mm-hmm. the rest of us can we'll probably just get like some friends to fill in for them just yeah. so we can still do it you know yeah but um we all agree that that's okay so moving forward we're just gonna you know yeah, yeah. do what we can 
which is kind of a good thing for you guys to agree on beforehand, you know, like, yeah, hey, like, this is for the betterment of the band. It's for, you know. Yeah. And and I think it I think, like I said, there's just I think our, we're just different. It's a different band. Everyone's different places, you know. Um, but it's just exciting to know that, like, we're going to be entertaining offers. We are like today. We got an offer today. We turned it down, but, <laughs> but, but it feels good to do, but it. it feels good. But it's just like, you know, whereas before it was more of us just being like, Hey, it'd be cool to do this. Yeah. And then just kind of doing like soft little feelers, you know, hitting up friends, you know, yeah. it was more of that. Cause, and, and also dude, shout out to, to Dan and Liam. Um, even with us being the willing to do what we want to do right now, it's not enough for no. most agents to want to work with or to invest right. time into you know, it's, and we understand yeah. that we understand, we completely understand that. So like we are well aware that of what's required of us, of what's required of us. And that, uh, this is coming out of the fact that we just, we've been good buddies yeah. with Dan and Dan, like just fucking being a G and I guess believing in, and he used us to be enough. our booking agent back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, uh, and so if this, it, it's cool to be, to be back with him, you know, yeah. we've, we've known him forever and that's yeah. sick. So it's just, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's nice. It's like a, yeah. So thank you, Dan and Liam and yeah, for yeah. picking us up. We are stoked to, uh, play shows for you. Yeah. And so while, while Mike's on tour, <laughs> the we podcast, can zoom now. <laughs> the podcast will continue. Yes. Uh, you may see more of Jesse just kidding <laughs> um we we have zoom we've been working on our zoom capabilities um so uh you know we, we, it's 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 still gonna be good we're still gonna be good yeah we can totally zoom yeah yeah yeah, yeah. easy it's fine it's fine you didn't invest all this gear or anything <laughs> well, we'll also only be gone for like yeah. Seven days at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's not, we're not like full time. Yeah, that's not major. Just doing that. Oh yeah. Just, sorry. We're no. We're not. We're not full time. Yeah, yeah, we're not for no. Year. One week here. Like one week there. One week here. One week there. You know. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a fest here, a fest there. Whatever. But it, it's not like months. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. Sorry. We it's, maybe it's funny work. because thinking back, like, you know, I always say it with me and Martin, like we were always so close, but we were just so used to like always being apart you know because you yeah. guys were always on the road and shit and then that you like when you first moved back home we're like well what do we do today well what do we do now what do we do now you know so what do we want but i like back then you guys were like on the fucking grind oh yeah we're just legit awesome. like gone six months at a time come home high five each other and then yeah. like leave again something really drastic would have to happen for that to even be a thing it would have yeah it would have to be a big life-changing thing yeah hey, we're i'm gonna shit let's go let's just go, let's go. <laughs> so um, but that's yeah. exciting man yeah I'm, ex- so. I'm excited for both of you i'm stoked that that this all I, like and i know that we all seem like pretty pretty low energy about it and hopefully this episode kind of explains oh, i just smoked before we started this so like, yeah. <laughs> well, that too. um but like you know kind of explains maybe how we were at the shows and things like that too. I think for the most part, we did a pretty good job of not like, not really having an effect like performances and stuff like that. But yeah, kudos to both of you guys. Cause obviously I can, I empathize, empathize, empathize secondhand just being friends with both of you guys. Yeah. You guys were both, it happened. It was like you guys that were dealing with this. So I was, people were asking me like, Hey, how are they doing? Like, I mean, they're here. <laughs> they're here. Like, yeah. um, and and she, she, I don't, you know, I don't want to. Again, even though it's even though it would be a good blast, but uh, I thought it was really fucking cool to see a lot of the support come out for for Martin's family, just yeah. from friends. That was insane. Yeah, um, that was so sick. Big shout out to uh, to the Six Three Guns dudes for really like helping out with that and making light of it, and also like donating that was like that's crazy you know? yeah so yeah thank you guys and very generous like i told josh on instagram like i fucking got you guys forever you know so is that um is that page still active like the gofundme yeah it is 
um, we'll we, we'll probably link it on the show if anybody else wants to help oh, yeah. you know, contribute to that. Uh, you know, because that's it's <clears throat> it's not an easy thing for anybody to go through, and for most people, they would just like shut down and be yeah. like, "Yeah, hey, I'm, I need to go home. I need to be with my family." I did, if if Martin would have said that. I, I like, don't think anybody could have nobody, really. Yeah, yeah, nobody would have. Nobody would have. Uh, I don't think anybody would have done anything. Everyone would have been like, "Yeah, man, like yeah. That's, that's what it is." Yeah. But so any, uh, I think a silver lining or positive is, you know. I but think, this is this kind of goes back to like the what we talked about on the. <laughs> it's almost like we preempted all this when we were talking shit about like what it's like to tour, but like, um, you know that just goes to show you like it really is you have to commit to it right yeah like you can't commitment. you can't just go home things. just because things happen mm -hmm. you know and as, unfortunately this was a really major thing that happened yeah. but you can't just like you can't just leave like this is a this you know you have to be here because um, it's not just about you it's about you know everybody else in your band as well um and mm -hmm. like like i i'm I'm still like I'm impressed that not only were you able to play two sets, but you still like you kept your composure, you know, pretty yeah. well for for the entire weekend. I think you guys both did a really good job of like letting your you know friends and people there like letting them like low on you guys. And, yeah, you know that whole thing was cool. I feel I feel like I don't want to take away from from Isley, right? But I also like kind of felt like. like what you were going through was like, this is a person, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and I hate, I hate to say yeah. that, like, that it's not the same, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Cause what Isley meant to me will obviously be completely yeah, that's different than anything else, then. you know? Mm -hmm. Um, that's Isley. but I like, it's just like, like, you know, I remember what it was like when I lost my uncle and it was like devastating, you know? Yeah. And it sucks. Like it just being able to like push through and just be like, all right, we got, we got shit to do, you know? Yeah. You know, so. One of the things that pretty early on in our touring that my mom said to me, and this was like, this is definitely early on touring where we could have, I could have easily <laughs> flown home and yeah, the tour canceling or whatever it, you know, it would have sucked obviously. But, uh, I remember it was, uh, it was, uh, one of my aunts I think passed away and it was me. I, I was, I was asking, I was like, should I come home for this? Like, yeah, you know, and my mom being like, no, like, isn't like, she's gone, you know, like, yeah, honor her, like yeah. honor her. Like this is, you know, she would want you to be like, you're doing, you're doing what you want to do. Yeah. So like honor, honor her, you know? So I think, I think, uh, with anything, like, I think that's an attitude just to have with anything like, uh, you know, and for anyone again, who's, who's, uh, who's lost someone, yeah. You know, for whatever it is, close or not, it's like when people ask, like, like, a, how do I honor this person? You honor them by you, you're living, you know, they're not here. Yeah, do it. So you, yeah. you live, you live, li live for them. Like you, you know, do things, to, you know, live your life to like the fullest. I dedicated me, my playing to my uncle, yeah. you know, yeah. like, you know, it was, uh, there was one thing when I, when I first found out about Isley, when Mike came over. Um, Karima had said something to me like, because I was like upset that it had happened while I was mm -hmm. gone. Like I was like, this is the one thing I didn't want to happen when I was gone. And Karima was like, um, she probably didn't want you to be oh, there. Dude. And Mike, even Mike was like, oh no, don't yeah. fucking say that. No, <laughs> <laughs> like I had to walk away, and I was like, fuck, like can't even. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even fathom it. But you know, I'm just. I'm glad my dad was here. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm glad she wasn't like by herself. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah. She's, she's pain free. Yeah. And now Chewy, you can tell Chewy's kind of bummed out. He just kind of wants to be around everybody. He just, yeah. Like, you know, wants to be the next to gone. people. So, um, so Chewy's on the show today. Chewy's hanging out with us. Um, You'd probably see more of him if especially if he's gonna be quiet like this was yeah no, this is he's been good boy right now you know? so he's like i gotta do this so i can stay yeah <laughs> <laughs> audition one's going really well Trey. good for you yeah <laughs> um 
Yeah. So overall, fucking the no home dudes, the Clay City dudes, fucking you guys were sick. Nice Love dudes. Mm -hmm. Nice ass dudes. Um, overall, just like stoked to be playing. Yeah. And it was cool. It, like Clay, Clay City's a pretty young band. Yeah. And it was cool to see people like fucking excited. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that yeah, fucking yeah. like. Yeah. Holy shit! Like this is so cool. You know. They're, their attitude, I mean, no home too, but uh, I really enjoyed, I really, uh, I really appreciated Clay City's attitude to like, I felt like, I felt like when they would ask things, they really took in what you were saying. Yeah. Which is really cool. Yeah. Like any little, you know, it's, it's like, it just was like, you know, small things just here and there. I just felt like they were really uh, receptive to like take any kind of criticism or advice. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, and that's that's that for me will always be Craig. Yeah. You know, I kind of made they kind of made jokes about it on <laughs> on stage and throughout the tour about how, you know, kudos to him for fucking putting up with our shit, putting up <laughs> with the just brutal yeah. on, honesty, and uh, you know, and it, and it's, and it's I think it's it's served him really well. He just took it in stride, and you know, he's still doing music. You know, he's he killed in a, it. He's in a band that I think is finally at its caliber because I've always felt like he was always. Heads and shoulders above the bands he was in, and it's just cool yeah. to see him, uh, yeah, doing well and yeah, it's a fun run. Well, <clears throat> that being said, um, I guess we'll you know we'll we'll cut it there. We'll cut it short. <laughs> Not that um, short. <laughs> I'm looking at that. I know. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you know, make sure you guys check out all the bands that that uh, that. Uh, we're playing on the shows. Um, check out their music. Fucking, yeah. you know. Also, or, order if, some merch from them and shit. You know. Yeah, and we're gonna have merch too. Uh, if you if you like what we do on the show, feel free to support us. We have our. I want to say ass cap. It's not ass cap. No, <laughs> it's our uh, a cast. A cast. We have an a cast supporter page where you guys can um, literally donate whatever amount you want. Right. One time, a dollar. Two dollars, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some merch on the way too. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, more than anything else, like even if you can't fucking donate money, just tell your friends about the show. Yeah. Um, tell your friends. How do them tell their friends? Just check it out. If you like watching video versions, we got the video version on YouTube. If you like the audio version? Everywhere you stream your podcast, check it out. There's. Um, I was looking into this. There's a new. There's new functionality, it seems like, that's coming with YouTube that's going to be tailored to podcasts. Really? So, um, you know, keep an eye out on that if you prefer watching or doing like a video um, version. We got it, you know. And then there's going to be the ability to listen to shows as well. Sick. So, um, <clears throat> we love you guys. We'll be back next week. Maybe a little more high energy, maybe a little more rested, <laughs> maybe a little more uh, jump roping and uh, yeah. masks and shit. Yeah. And we will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.